Herzlich willkommen zu Musica Sacra International Online. Buddhismus, Hinduismus, Judentum, Animismus, Islam, Christentum, das sind die Religionen, die beim diesjährigen Festival Musica Sacra International musikalisch vertreten sind. Meist wissen wir nur Einzelheiten über diese Religionsgemeinschaften. Ihre Musik und wie mit Hilfe dieser Musik religiöse Inhalte vermittelt werden, erleben und erfahren wir bei unserem mittlerweile seit 28 Jahren stattfindenden Begegnungsfestival. Es ist Tradition, dass die Ensembles neben den Konzerten in sogenannten Ateliers Hintergrundwissen vermitteln und Einblicke in ihre Musik und kulturelle Traditionen geben. Und wir freuen uns, dass wir Ihnen diese Ateliers dieses Jahr in Videoform präsentieren können. Sollten Sie direkte Fragen an die Leiter der Ateliers haben, können Sie uns diese gerne zusenden. Wir leiten Sie dann weiter und beantworten Sie so schnell wie möglich. Hallo und Namaskar. Ich bin Umira Matusavia. Ich begrüße Sie alle zu der Online-Edition von Music Sacra International. Wir, der Raga Guru, repräsentieren unsere Indien und Hinduismus. First of all, I am expressing my sorrow that I am not able to meet with you all personally in this time because of this pandemic situation. I hope you all are safe and sound. Uh, actually, uh, it takes confidence and kindness to organize uh, such a fantastic musical program in recent days. As we all know, we are going through uh, the same crisis. And uh, we all are co trying hard, uh, trying hard to cope up with the, this situation in our own way. Truly, the great effort of such thing give us a solace and uh, make us believe that all is not lost yet. My heart felt gratitude to each and every one of the festival committee for this beautiful initiative to host the program online and uh, give uh, all the artists like us to uh, perform and uh, to share the art with you all. Regarding our troupe, Raga Guru portraits, the Hindu mythological stories and uh, traditions through uh, Kathak dance and Indian classical music. But uh, this time in this uh, musical online edition, uh, there is a separate presentation of Kathak dance and uh, Sarod recital. I have chalked out uh, regarding our uh, presentation about Kathak and uh, Sarod. So uh, let's uh, come into Kathak. Kathak is one of the pivotal genres of ancient classical dance and one of the eight finest classical dance forms in India. The nomadic birds of North India called Kathakars are considered as the pioneer of this beautiful dance form. The bands of storytellers used to roam around and exhibit popular legends through their magical dance serene music and songs. The Kathakars, the father of the Kathak dance, used to convey their stories through beautiful rhythmic foot movements, aesthetic subject, hand movements, facial expressions and majestic eye movements. Stories from myths and epic used to be the core of their exhibition. Their portrayal of the stories of the Lord Krishna was accepted with love and appreciation at the court of the North Indian Kingdom. Etymologically, the word Kathak has come from the Vedic Sanskrit term Katha, meaning story. In various Hindu epics and texts, the word Kathakar has found its place which stands for the person who tells a story. As per different analysis, Kathak is presumably 
uh, originated in uh, Benares or Varanasi and then spread across Jaipur, Lucknow and many other regions of north and northwest of India. The form of Kathak dance is also mentioned in our great epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The uh, Bhakti movement played a significant role in the evolution of Kathak dance. During this time, the Kathak dance primarily focused on the eternal love story between Lord Krishna and Radha. Royal courts and nobles of Mughal period appreciated and acknowledged this ancient classical dance which was mainly associated with the influenced by the Hindu legends and mythologies. During the performance at royal courts, Kathak movement started to evolve. The improvised dance form, mostly Shemsuvash, took place due to its orientation to entertainment which would draw the attention or interest of the royal courts of Mughal Empire. Now, uh, coming to my presentation, here I am uh, going to present a purely traditional Kathak form which is divided in four major parts. First part is Vandana, Shiva Vandana. It is worshipping the god Shiva. The second part is traditional Kathak part that is in Tal Ang. I am performing 16 beat cycles, Teen Tal. In, uh, first, in, first I am doing in Bilambit or slow tempo and then Dhritan Tal in like, it's like a first tempo. small section of a Vinay part of Kathak dance and I will tell uh, or depict the story of Lord Radha and Krishna and the last part is the footwork, the climax of the Kathak dance is uh, named Lari I am performing here and it's also in uh, Dhrut Tintal, 16 beat second. Coming to Sarod. The sarod is a stringed instrument used mainly in Hindustani music on the Indian subcontinent. Along with the sitar, it is among the most popular and prominent instruments. The sarod is known for a deep, weighty, introspective sound in contrast with the sweet, overtone rich texture of the sitar. Many scholars of Indian classical music believe that the sarod is a combination of the ancient Chitravina, the medieval Indian Rabab Aka the senior Rabab, and modern Susingar. Some scholars even contend that a similar instrument may have existed about 2000 years ago in ancient Indian India during the ages of the Gupta kings. The sarod is also believed to have descended from the Afghan ruber, a similar instrument originating in Central Asia and Afghanistan. My colleague Diptesh Bhattacharya will present Raga Munu Manjuri in this session which is created by one of the doing of Indian music, Pandit Nikhil Banerjee. The Raga itself is very sentimental and very deep meditating by nature. There are two main parts. The first part without tabla accompaniment is called the ala and the second part based in 16 beats rhythmic cycle with tabla accompaniment is can be called as gatnikas. Tabla will be accompanied by one of our colleague Mr. Shunjit Kumar Pal. I'm sure you will fully enjoy these two sessions and let's pray together for a beautiful healed art. Stay safe. Stay healthy and take care.